Hi, we're at Armory Modern and we're about to begin our quest for hidden gems at the Moeller Fine Art Gallery. And then we're moving on to another New York-based gallery, Michael Rosenfeld. And finally, we're going to look at a special exhibition devoted to great women artists of the 20th century. We're at Moeller Fine Art and Behind me is a rare pastel by the Italian futurist artist Gino Severini. It's a work from 1914, and the English translation of the painting is called The Bear Dance. It was a kind of risque dance from that period of time uh, in Paris. And uh, this work is particularly rare in the sense that it was owned by a very famous uh, avant-garde art collector named John Quinn uh, earlier in the century, the last century, and then was uh, also belonged to Alfred Stieglitz. So it has a very pristine provenance trail. And the work, uh, I understand, is uh, for sale at $1.35 million. And also here at Muller, we have a very interesting combination of a original copper plate that was used to make the David Smith print uh, called Women and War. And uh, Smith really didn't make many prints in his career. And this one is particularly strong because of the subject matter, 1941, and it's sort of, sort of has an erotic element to it. We're at the Michael Rosenfeld Gallery, and we're standing very close to two works by two great American artists, Ruth Asawa and Buford Delaney. Can you talk a little bit about these somewhat underknown artists? Buford Delaney and Ruth Asawa are both artists who in the last five to ten years have really risen to achieve significant recognition. Um, Delaney is an African-American painter from Knoxville, Tennessee who was born around the turn of the century and this painting um, was done in 1958 and like Ruth Asawa, Beaufort Delaney is very interested in nature. Ruth Asawa also finds inspiration in nature, particularly organic forms, plant life. Um, she was a Japanese-American artist who spent her formative years as a young girl um, in an internment camp. And after she graduates from, from Black Mountain College, she spends the rest of her life making sculpture out of wire to create forms such as this, which she made in about 1960, which is very much inspired by tumbleweeds. Sort of as the kicker, there's a specially curated exhibition at the Armory this year done by Susan Harris. Despite all the bubbles of the art market and the great strength of prices, for whatever reason, a number of women that would seem to be getting their commercial due are not. And so this is a bit of a homage to artists ranging from Georgia O'Keeffe to Alice Neal, to Hannah Wilkie, Elaine de Kooning, and most interestingly, these are all works on paper, and they're hung salon style. Alice Neal's beautiful uh, drawing of King, a dog, which will give Lucian Freud a run for his money on this palpable beauty of a living creature. <laughs> 